For question number six, we are going to find the inverse function of the function f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. And this negative one right here denotes the inverse. This does not mean you just take 1 over whatever that we have here. And right here, we are going to talk about the four steps to find the inverse. Okay, so again, let me just draw some notes for you guys. I will just call this the four steps to find in inverse. Four steps to find inverse. Inverse. Okay, so we are talking about the function f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. Here we go. First step, we are going to write the function notation, which in this case we have f of x. We are going to write f of x as y. So, I see f of x right here. I'm going to just write this as y, and the rest stays the same. So, equals to x plus 2 over x minus 3. That's my first step. Very simple. Just rewrite the function as y. Second, we are going to switch x and y. So, what do I mean by this? Originally, we see right here we have a y. Now we are going to change this to an x. Okay, so we are going to change the y to an x. And then, we see an x right here originally. We are going to change them to y's. That's all. So, y plus 2 over y minus 3. That, that, that's the second step. Okay? Then, third step. This is the step line for the more, uh, most work. We are going to solve, which means that we are going to isolate the new y. The new y. So we are going to isolate this, uh, this y. And again, this is the step that involves the most work. And here we, go, uh, here we go. Let's see how to do this. First of all, notice that we have y plus 2 over y minus 3. We have um, two y's, right? Pretty much we have two y's. And this is how we are going to do it. First of all, we are going to multiply both sides by the denominator y minus 3. That way, you don't need to deal with the denominators anymore. And I'm going to write this y minus 3 right here. And then let me put a y minus 3 like that. So we are going to have x times y minus 3. It's equal to when we multiply it, y minus 3, this and that cancels. And we get y plus 2. And of course, right here, we can distribute. And let's see what do we get. x times y, we get xy. And then x times negative 3, we get minus 3x. That's equal to y plus 2. As we can see that once we multiply both sides by the denominator y minus 3, we have just a regular equation, right? A normal fractions, which is nice. And then we have, again, a regular equation, normal parentheses after the distributing. Then we can just um, collect the y's on one side. I have the x, y right here, and then the y right here. Let me move these two things together to the right-hand side. So I have to move this to the, uh, I mean to the left-hand side. Minus y right here, and then minus y right, right here. So in that case, these two will cancel out. And I will get x, y, minus y. But on this side, we will have the minus 3x, right? So why not let's just plus 3x on both sides as well. That way, this two cancels out. So on the left-hand side, I just have x, y, minus y. And that's what we got right here. Bring down the equal sign. Equals to, uh, let's write the 3x first. 3x plus 2. And the good thing about this is that once the, y, um, the y's are on one side, once the y's are on one side, we can factor out the y. So notice the y's and y, we can factor that out. Okay? And then we have an x left first. Minus, originally you have a y, you factor that out. So you actually have a 1 left. And that's equals to 3x plus 2. So this is how you can kind of condense 1y, right? Originally you have 2, but once you factor it out, you just have 1y. Then we can just divide both sides by x minus 1. Divide both sides by x minus 1. Because we have y times this. After we divide both sides by uh, x minus 1, these two cancels. And I get y is equal to 
3x plus 2 over x minus 1. This is the third step, the one that involves the most work. The fourth step, that's how you're going to write your happy answers. Okay? I also say this new y is the inverse. So we're just going to write the uh, this uh, we're just going to write this new y as f inverse of x that's equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. And that's it. So these are the four steps. Dun, 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 dun. 